set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And we are underway from Kansas City. Taken at the goal line. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. Leading them out will be the four-time Pro Bowler, the 2010 Comeback Player of the Year. At quarterback, it's the dynamic Michael Vick. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Second down, and back they go to Sanders. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Call it a pickup of three and also now likely a punt on their opening drive. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. They'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. Here's Beckham. Little razzle-dazzle by OBJ. He's still barreling through. <laughs> so now the Chiefs go on offense in great starting field position. They'll be led out by their electrifying signal caller, the former Virginia Tech Hokey, Michael Vick. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want, but this guy, he is hard to corral. That throw by Vic, incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. Vic now. Buying time to his left. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight yard line. From the eight, they've got it first and goal. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Here we go now on first and goal. Throwing, Vic. Steps away to... And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Michael Vick, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that at all, right? <laughs> this is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football. All right? When you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You say, thank you very much for getting us to rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a... All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. The mistake there by the offense, Charles. They tried to pick on a pro bowl corner and coverage there, and not the smartest decision. He reminded him that he was a pro bowl corner with not only the pick, but the pick six. And those guys who have that designation, sometimes they get a little bit bored in games because people try to avoid them. They absolutely love it when they get challenged, and it's a chance to remind everyone exactly why they were tabbed as one of the best in the league the prior season. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. 
And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and ten. Now, meanwhile, the throw by Vic incomplete. It was knocked away. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. The throw on second down from Vic incomplete. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. On third down, Vic. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they've got it very deep in enemy territory. It's inside the five at the three-yard line. First and goal. The defense gets him the ball via the turnover. Now can this offense cash in? First and goal. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Christian McCaffrey. Touchdown run. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And just power football there. Down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen coming in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit. If they don't score here, that's what they could be. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's Michael Vick. And his throw is going to be incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield hey, hey, and knocked it away. And Vick's throw there incomplete. That was not a real confident throw right there. And he's just 2 of 7 to start the game. Now he's going to have to find a groove with a big third down coming up. Let's see if his confidence can increase. Vic with the incompletion there on third down. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball. So they can already make this a three-score game here if they can come away with points on this drive. Yeah, they almost push him to the brink off their partner, almost to the point now. It's a loss of words for me, which I know would excite all of our viewers, but you just have to see that type of dominance so quickly in a game like this. Everything they've done has been working so far. Offense, defense, you name it, it's going well for them. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Back-to-back -to -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Vic to throw it. And it's complete to Adams. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Vic readies to throw. Oh, the 
ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. He's got a man complete. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. DK Metcalf, 52 yards. And the Chiefs are able to add on to their first half lead. But it's not too often that you say, hey, this one's going to be over by halftime. And, CD, I know our bosses probably don't want us to say that because they don't want people clicking away. But this one might be over by halftime. And since you've already put your job on the line by actually saying it, I will co-sign and go with you because you're my partner. We don't mean to do it, but this game has been exactly as you've described. I see no hope for them going forward. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Now before we get to our next drive, oh my goodness, folks, the big one is coming. No, not the Super Bowl, but the $1 million Madden Bowl, the crown jewel of the Madden Championship Series. Our friend RG says you're not going to want to miss this one. It streams live January 30th, 31st, up through the final on February 1. Tune into the EA Madden NFL Twitch channel, 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 on the West Coast, as we find out who is this year's best of the best. The throw over the middle, and he lost the football. And this ball recovered by the offense, but remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half, so this will be blown dead, and it'll come back. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Jack Campbell with a pick, and they'll set up shot in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. So here's Vic following the interception. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third and manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger game? Now, meanwhile, the throw by Vic incomplete. It was knocked away. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Now, here's Vic. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Again, it's Vic. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Staying on his feet. He completes it to Becker. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and ten from the ten. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. And now Beckham in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chiefs will extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it, that can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. This taken in at the goal line. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. 
Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Go, Isn't this kind of go. like the empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. Looking for Kelsey on the deep ball. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. A third quarter action from Kansas City, second down and 10 to throw Vic. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And they're going to get this beyond the 30 before it's taken down. 22 yards there, first down. Here's Vic. No, he stays up. But he can't get away forever, and down he goes. Carl Lawson in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Can I give him points for the attempt, but there's just a wave of pressure there. A host of people in the area. Evades a few, but couldn't evade all of them. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. And bulldozing his way through. Able to find a seam for 14 yards, but still now facing a fourth down after the scramble. Well, it's not going to be a first down, but that's a nice job of picking up yardage on third and long. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you. And in this case, it wasn't enough to pick up the first down. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. Come on, come on. First down, Vic. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed. Because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Well, he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. That'll go as a pickup of eight. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Another run here with Sanders. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he's got his man short, complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play, so we will switch in. We're back now in KC. And this offense on third down today, they've only converted once in four tries. Here it's third and three. And he is caught. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. And the Cowboy first down. Looking to throw. Vic. It's caught by Sanders. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Another nice gain. 16 yards there at a first down again. 16 yards. First down, Dallas. Let's go. Again, he'll drop to throw. And his throw is incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent.
excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. It'll be Vic once more. Open man is Andre Reid, complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 19. 11 more yards there. This methodical drive continues. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Vic with a give to Sanders. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. It was Jadavian Clowney who got upfield for the stop. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Now, meanwhile, the throw by Vic incomplete. It was knocked away. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Vic loses the football. It's out. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And they're going to set up shot at the 32-yard line. Well, I think it's safe to say they can mark this down as extremely frustrating. Here we are in the fourth quarter, and that last play, that turnover, they get epitomizes what happened to them all day on offense. So symbolic, and that's why they're still being shut out. That throw by Vic, incomplete. Partner in the sportsmanship handbook, there's something to be said for calling the dogs off in a blowout. But these defenders, they also know this is the NFL, and it's their job to stop them whether they're in the game or they're down by a handful of touchdowns. Breaks the tackle, he's got room to run. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 30 before being taken down. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Now they're going to throw it here with Vic. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot. Went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Vic goes play action. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Well, they're up comfortably here, Charles, but that lead certainly not dissuading them from pressing the envelope late. I mean, if anything, with these passes, it's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly lend itself to some post-game questions for that coach, and maybe you and I should attend that press conference and see what he has to say, because someone's going to ask him why he continued to push it. My guess? Did it like I said this match for one over? He wanted to use that as a chance to clean things up, but he certainly will have some explaining to do. Back to throw again. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. But not much defensive resistance on that drive. And really, Charles, the way this offense has been humming, they haven't faced much defensive resistance the entire game. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that one team, their defense did not wake up and make it to the stadium for this one. There may be some major changes on that side of the ball when we see them the next time out. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it is 42 to nothing. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And out now come the Cowboys. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. Go you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about your... And oh, he caught it up. Oh, and one of the linebackers has got it. And his crew will take over with the football at the 35-yard line. As I say, this game has exactly been won for the points. I mean, we're to the fourth quarter here. And now this happens, another turnover. Not one that they're going to hold up and say, yeah, this has been a banner day. Absolutely. Still sitting on zero. Ready? Ready? And they take a knee. For the winning 
team here, Charles. That's about as big and clean of a win as you can hope for in the National Football League. No turnovers. Meanwhile, you forced turnovers. You didn't allow any points, and you put up a bunch of points. What an effort. And, Brandon, I just have to ask you, that's all the stuff that we saw happen today. Those are statistics, numbers, the whole deal. But my question is... Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. Leading them out will be the four-time Pro Bowler, the 2010 Comeback Player of the Year. At quarterback, it's the dynamic Michael Vick. The secret to his game and his success, incredible chemistry with each and every one of the guys who catches passes with him. And not only does he ask him to stay after practice or meet him before practice, he actually demands it because he knows if they have that kind of chemistry built up, they will be hard to beat each and every ball game. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. Ready, ready. Second down, Vic. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Check, 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 check. Inside handoff, Henry, and trying to push forward, but he is going to be stuffed up in the backfield. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Now a second down throw for Vic. He'll find Reynolds over the middle, and he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 23. 23 yards the pick up there. First down carry for Henry. A strong broken tackle on that one. And then they get him to the ground just shy of the 15. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. From the 17, here's second and four. They'll run it again with Henry. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. And that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through. And has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. And Henry fighting for the marker, but I don't think he got there. He did not. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. And his kick is indeed good. And the Eagles, they take a 3-0 lead. Well, given where they started that opening drive, CD, I think to get three out of it, probably a pretty good start that they'll take. I think you're exactly right about that because they just shook off the effects of the kickoff in field position and took the ball, moved it downfield. Didn't pay off with a touchdown, but that drive, that was really nice for them, and they did come away with three points. So here are the Chiefs now under their veteran head coach, Andy Reid. They'll be led out by their electrifying signal caller, the former Virginia Tech Hokie, Michael Vick. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful off. It's caught inside the 25. A big play there for KC. 43 yards. Here we go. 
Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Second quarter from Arrowhead. It's the Chiefs in possession. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Vic now being chased out left. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Touchdown! Ray Wilson, an 18-yard touchdown Brown, and the Chiefs have taken the lead. That appeared like any routine NFL quarterback, but it was Michael Vick from the pocket, throws a touchdown pass. I just think about the transformation throughout his career. From Atlanta, where he would take off and go at just about the drop of a hat and turn defenses into mush. And then by the end of his career in Philadelphia, where he completed pass like we just saw from the pocket, yet still had those great legs when necessary to help get him out of trouble. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Painter. Chiefs kickoff unit now as they'll send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So back onto the field. Here come the Eagles for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that, wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, other than the extra point. That's it. On second down, here's Henry. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Two minutes to play in his first half. 7-3, our score. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Vic. And he's taken down. A Chiefs sack. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Beckham, the return. Little razzle-dazzle by OBJ. Good blocking there and nearly sprung him. As it is, it'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Michael Vick. It's caught. Back in. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. Throwing Vick. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. Vic with the incompletion on first down, and now that leads to second and ten. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. On out back him from 17 yards out. And the Chiefs had six to their lead. Carlson on for the PAT. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. The drive there only 
spanning three plays. And it's OBJ, Odell Beckham, who ends it with a touchdown reception. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Escaping the pressure right. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. The Eagles hustling to the line. Clock rolling. Vickle looked to throw on first down. That quick throw there is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Vick's throw finds its target. Dobbs. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Vic to throw it. Under pressure and down he goes. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Vic on second down. The throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. What a sequence there defensively. You get the sack to move the third and long. Then here, just nothing available. And he's got to throw it away. Now here's Vic. They set up the screen for Henry. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. That's going to bring up fourth down. Only a gain of two there. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And this one's going toward the sideline. They'll try to play keep away from Beckham. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and ten. On play action, Vic going for Metcalf on the deep ball. That's caught inside the 20. And he's in for the touchdown. The final play of the first half. The player is answered. How did they get that done? Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? We cool to do it here in football, Barton. No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary. Well, let's face it, a better win for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they will continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. A happy sight for a lot of these fans. We're jumping right over halftime and getting back into the action. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, getting set for quarter number three here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well and most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went into the tunnel with a lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. To throw, Vic. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. 
Vic to the air again. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. Vic readies to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there's no space available and incompletion as a result. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Michael Vick. And the Chiefs take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Carlson now to add the extra point. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. So the drive there took six plays. And it's OBJ, Odell Beckham, who ends it with a touchdown reception. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that part, Barrett. I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. Well, that run good for six yards, but they're still looking up at a third and 15. Tall task ahead of them here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Vic with the incompletion there on third down. I like the confidence of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Nifty running by Beckham. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. He completes it to Baker. Touchdown. Five touchdown passes now for Michael Vick. And the Chiefs will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Well, on the other sideline right now, it's just absolute dejection. But, Charles, let's focus on the positive. With the lead that they built here, they've done pretty much everything to perfection in this ball game. They certainly have. It makes me think that their week of preparation was excellent. And they flowed into this game, and it carried over. And right now, I don't expect them to back off at all. They're playing so well, they just want to keep it going. This taken in at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD. And if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. 
And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third. We're back now in KC. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Here's Vic. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break. And you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. On third down, Vic out of the gun. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Aaron Donald with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Take it at the 37. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. And that hurts. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. And just think about the differences between the two. Running into the kicker almost feels inadvertent. Just a small tap, so to speak. But when you rough him, usually bodies are hitting the ground and flying all different places. And the difference is five yards or 15. And in this case, that's a big play. And Vic's throw there incomplete. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him. And after this one's done... You just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions Ready. and definitely not a lot of answers. Well, he cannot get away. Down goes Vic. That time, Bradley Chubb shooting him there for the sack. Seventh play in this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Back to throw. Vic. And this is going to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And take it right on the 30. A solid stiff arm. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And yeah, they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and 10. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pull it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would have, you know, they get off the gas a little bit, right? But now, people continue to accelerate. But we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. They seemingly just continue to score at will. And... <laughs> As great as it's been for the offense, you got to feel for that defense down there. I love how you use the word will because both teams came into the game with the will to win. But one team has obviously imposed its will on the other and broken them. Because what we're seeing right now, wow, that's a defense that's in tatters after what they faced in this ball game. Taken at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Ready, ready. Looking to throw. Vic. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. I don't care what sport you're playing. Everyone likes to build up a little momentum, don't they? Hey, hey, and look at this. Back-to-back no, no, -back no, completions no, no, to the big target at tight end. That one not as profitable as the other, but still a decent game. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this.
Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. Vic's throw into the hands of Reynolds here. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. Well, this game, it was well in hand early, never really in doubt. Charles, you and I do so many games together. There's so much parity in the NFL, a lot of close battles. This was not one. Tip your cap to them for a really impressive effort. Yeah, and you know, as the game went on, I think the defense kind of got together and said, he's hit a point after point. We need to leave our mark somehow, too, and they did it.